Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. Stay subscribed. All three channels, Evolutionary EE Arts and Hearts Home, our newest channel. Again, Hearts Home, if you, if you don't want to be scared and you don't want to face, you know, the craziness that all the craziness this world has to offer, you want just um, something a little more on the spiritual side, then yeah, head over to Heart's Home. If you still want to hear these voices, maybe, I don't know why you would, well, maybe you would, maybe you wouldn't, I don't know, some people maybe would, some people maybe wouldn't. Indeed. Indeed, indeed. But we do go down some rabbit holes, and we are going down rabbit holes in this one too. First, we're going to take a look at some... Of the news items, government seizes and dumps Amish farmers fresh raised food. Yeah, this is just from August 30th this year. In addition to being the home of newly famous country musician Oliver Anthony, the city of Farmville, Virginia, is also where Amish farmers Samuel and Katie Fisher have been operating their food business, Golden Valley Farms, for years, but recently they've run afoul of the law for unlawfully possessing, selling, and or transporting animals. As a result, the state seized all the fishers' fresh, locally raised <clears throat> meat and dumped it so that it couldn't be sold or used to feed the family. Oh, man, isn't that horrible? This is Virginia, and this is not the first case where the Amish feel like they've been singled out. And, and we've kind of singled them out as an example of uh, how it could work moving forward as the Amish tend to work together in their own communities. That's exactly what we're going to have to do to survive these times. There was an Amish father of 12 thrown in jail. What was it for? It was for a homemade concoction so to speak that that he put together as you can see a little salve here uh tomorrow gone it's a chickweed healing salve so again you know things like well it's not usda approved it's it's not fda approved it's not system approved as we know, you know, they're blocking so much going into Canada, you know, and, and it's this is just part of the bigger picture. Why are these agencies that are supposed to be looking out for your health making it harder to stay healthy? You know, I think we did a video a couple of weeks ago. I'm remembering about some some type of salve to put on your arm if you have like psoriasis and some of the some of the side effects you know might be like I don't know I don't remember for sure but it was really crazy like dizziness upset upset stomach um, seizures heart palpitations <laughs> you know rashes and possibly death and this is the stuff that that is legal to put out there and then we have this stuff here that um you know, the mainstream does not approve. And we got to always remember the mainstream pushes their four main pillars, you know, and it is the financial system, the, uh, you know, the school system, the religious system, and the monetary system. Those are the four pillars that they stand on. And as long as you're pushing one of those, you're okay. But if you're stepping out of the system like this, they're going to snag you. Yeah. So what's in this thing that scares them so much? Well, chickweed, <laughs> rosemary, comfrey, peppermint, eucalyptus, lavender, and uh, olive oil and beeswax. That's it. I think we have everything uh, that's listed there here in the house. You know, that uh, is illegal. Oh, but you can't, you can't make statements. Well, I mean, you know, again, why would this guy get persecuted? for taking what's traditional medicine. Well, again, we've talked about that. We've talked about how really allopathic medicine is Rockefeller medicine when you get down to it. And and they bought out all the schooling and they closed schools and they wiped out the competition. This is what corporations do in the bloodthirsty world. Meanwhile, Moscow on fire again, more drone attacks. 
as there's been multiple sources saying some of these drone attacks are not even coming from Ukraine. They're coming from Estonia and other NATO countries. Why hasn't the war branched out yet? It will. It will. I think they're waiting for the astrological signs. They, they take advantage of the energies of the stars and the planets. This is what people have to realize. The reason why it's it's demonized so much, um, well, and it, it astrology and divination, tarot cards, anything that could connect you to your intuition, uh, really it all goes back to the power structure in the church. And, and still that whole mindset is still dominating the USA, absolutely. You know, we still are completely dominated um, by the biblical thinking. And, and you know, again, people will qu call things new age when really a lot of these things that are new age are simply old, really old. Yeah, like not Kali Yuga and not even bronze going back to the silver and the golden age knowledge that we have everything we need right around us. There are guides we're just saying as we usually do our meditations facing the woods, uh, which ultimately leads to thousands of acres that there's so much healing in this woods that we don't, Cindy and I don't recognize yet. And we, we need to really familiarize our, ourselves with that. So many things that are called weeds and, and things along those lines that really can help us in all sorts of different situations. They don't want you knowing that there's no power in that. There's no control in that. And and again, that's that's the big revelation going on with this power structure. You know, I, I look at it as why do people continually hand themselves over to those who make profits out of their illnesses? If as long as you are sick, they're going to get some type of a kickback and we keep going back and back and back. And we're not finding any cures. We're not finding an end. We're only finding more doctors. You're only finding more specialists. You're only finding more tests. Where's the healing in it all? And, and I think that's where we get lost. We, we get lost in the conditioning of um, so many people wanting a quick fix. And, and they do. They condition that into us. It's like, here, you know, take this this little thing written on a piece of paper and this will patch you up right away. And then we move away from the really, the deep healing of everything, you know, the emotional healing, finding the deeper meaning and actually fixing our lives. A lot of people, they do want the healing, but they're not willing to make the changes that are necessary in their lives to bring about that healing. Yeah, absolutely. And as we see, Putin has put into service uh, the Sarmat 2, which is uh, dubbed the Satan 2. It's quote unquote unstoppable intercontinental uh, ballistic missile system that could literally sink the U.S. and the U.K. Uh, as it could cause massive tsunamis along the coastlines. So, you know, 16,000 miles an hour, They this is what they're talking about with the hypersonics. Everything has been telegraphed as we've talked about and as we move closer to that time when we see them intentionally um, bring to fruition prophecies that again, in, in many ways have been given to us by them in the first place. Uh, it, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely revisit a lot of these topics. Russia ditching unreliable dollar in trade. The U.S. no longer ensures its national currency's role on global market. So, you know, again, decoupling, complete decoupling is, is really one of those things that they've said. Watch for complete decoupling. When Russia and China decouple, then the war will be on. And so another video surfaced of Prigozhin. Now, we actually showed this video the same day that they... Uh, well, there's two videos. Uh, there's, or you could say there's a part of the same video that we showed the day that he supposedly went down in that plane, where he's also talking on a on a ride inside a vehicle about how they're going to uh, try to take him out, or there's been rumors of his elimination. He says everything is fine. You know, again, this is all a ploy. This has always felt like this is a ploy. 
Um, we don't really think he's dead. We, and we think that he's going to probably resurface. If he doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's just another pawn. Uh, but the reality is there's multiple fronts that will be opening up shortly. You no, know, I mean, his energy does not feel like he's left this plane. It, it's very strong. It's very vibrant. He feels he feels like he's definitely in a mode to really stir some chaos and create some trouble. And, and that's the feeling that I look for when I'm trying to see which side is someone on. Now, sometimes, you know, you can look at uh, energies and they're very close to the veil one side or the other. But no, this guy feels like he can he can meddle around pretty good in the 3D still. And those of you that have been with us for a very long time, you know, Cindy has, has tapped into the energy of H-I-T-L-E-R guy, and he never really died as, as in the traditional sense. Uh, and that would make him very old, but that's part of the realization of this world. There are so many things that are hidden from us. We've, we've talked about the, the Chinese Qigong master that was documented to live 256 years. And Cindy's able to connect with him. And he's actually given us some tips as far as Qigong goes. Um, and again, he actually thinks or said, shared that he thought it was closer around 300 years. The, everything that we see is really, it's for our consumption. So we have to really look outside, um, outside the box to, to find clues. Again, you know, watching anything mainstream, you're never going to get the info. So, you know, I, I made that comment that, you know, if you really want to get a different perspective on the Bible, you have to look outside the Bible. But of course, you read it. And the Bible is very small. That's not a big book. That doesn't take long to get through. Um, and I first read it at 11, cover to cover, on my own, and I actually transcribed it to commit it to memory. So, you know, when we go through and study what's there, then you start studying the pseudepigrapha. You start studying the books that are non-canonical, and you see what was omitted. Maybe you get an idea why it was omitted. You look at the history, you discover the politics going on, and you understand more about the system. Then you look to other traditions and you look for things that are congruent, things that kind of go along and look for things that are obviously different. You know, it, it's it's a process. And the, the, the real point is that the system keeps us running on the wheels uh, every single day just trying to pay taxes. And again, taxes are something that shouldn't even exist. They're parasitic in nature. The system is parasitic in nature, and everything about it is all about keeping us from seeing clearly what's going on. It's uh, drama from the love guru. The first D is distraction, and they do that constantly. Yes, and so with Prigozhin, well, what are they showing? They're showing Africa, and again, uh, the other video, he's in Africa again. Africa's going to go hot, but my feeling is it's more likely that he is more directly at the at the moment working on Belarus and Poland because that's going to go very hot too. Saudi man receives death penalty for posting online criticism of, of the Saudi royal family. There you go. Hey, you said something like, ah, oh, the Saudi prince is a jerk. Okay, off with his head. This is what they want for the whole world. This makes things very, very easy. Very easy. And it's just a, an atrocity. And again, we have them making such... Hey, look, she, she's making a statement which is just redonkulous. The president has done more to secure the border and to deal with this issue of immigration than anybody else. He really has. Ju the president has done more to secure the border and to deal with this issue of immigration than anybody else. It, she's got a good poker face, but we, we all know she's lying, you know, and again, that, that's the point. They, they will make statements that are absolutely false, and they say it and deliver it in such a way because they're actors. They're just actors. They're all actors, as we see families crossing the U.S. border illegally reached an all-time high in August. This is not slowed down. This, this is not slowed down one lick. 
it won't slow down because this is the big uh, round robin. This is the big, what's that game where we played with the chairs? Musical, chair. Musical chairs. We're all switching countries now. And 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 I've I was going to post a link to a video I did in January 2018 because I saw massive waves of immigration and migrants inside the U.S. because of the war that that's heading our way shortly. Because when we when we are attacked, you know, we're going to have no choice but to leave certain areas where the battle is raging. Mexico says no way as Trump and others vow to send U.S. military to fight cartels. And Mexico did not make the first wave of countries to join BRICS. They'll probably make the second wave. Doesn't matter. They are aligned with Russia and China. And I, I'm, in my mind, I, I feel they are promised certain states back, like Texas. You know, probably probably portions of New Mexico, Arizona, maybe even Southern California. You know, to a degree, maybe they get San Diego and, and China's going to take over the rest of the Pacific Northwest. You know, again, this, this is all part of the big reveal and we are getting very close to, to go time. Labor Day weekend gasoline prices highest in over a decade. Yeah, you know, have you noticed the gas prices going up, up, up? Well, again, and, and my God, you know, the cost of anything organic, which now we know uh, if you're buying organic in a store, it's probably not organic. You, you got to really know your local farmers and become your own farmer as much as you possibly can. Uh, there are things you can do hydroponically uh, with all, all sorts of uh, small systems. And again, if you want the most bang for the buck, uh, go to growing your own um, like little microgreens. They are so nutrient rich. You know, and really easy too. It's it's uh, if you look it up on YouTube, there's ways you can do it in just the glass jars, and it really doesn't take much effort at all. Maybe five minutes, um, you know, to to wet them, rinse them, and then set them in the window so that they can grow. It's just a matter of getting efficient with it. You know, we're always a little bit clumsy when it comes to first learning something, but once you get that down boy, you could grow so many microgreens so fast. You could probably get by for a very long time if you had just the, the seeds ready. Russia agrees on further oil export cuts. Yeah. So, and, and recognize now with the nations that have joined BRICS and with the next wave of nations that will be joining BRICS, most of, of the global resources are going to be in the hands of, of the BRICS nations, especially when it comes to energy. Burkina Faso approved a bill authorizing the government to send a military contingent, uh, contingent to defend Niger in the event the coup leaders come under attack. And I'm just going to roll down here. As you see, they sent in 300 trucks carrying goods to Niger. Um, Meanwhile, in Gabon, which is farther to the south, there was a military coup there as well. So, yeah, Africa's going really hot. And and it's interesting, too, because Africa has um, so much natural resources, so much natural resources. And then with the next wave of power, uh, energy power that they want us to uh, get used to utilizing, yeah, a lot of it is sitting in Africa, and and we still have little kids, single digit age, working in mines. I mean, it goes right back to the Anunnaki stories, you know, of humans working the mines, and we have little kids working the mines in toxic minefields. It's it's, it's like modern day slavery. Well, you know, the debt system, the money system, is modern day slavery. Look at this. T taking dietary supplements full of antioxidants could actually help cancerous tumors grow. Y yeah, well, that's probably why they're shutting off, uh, you know, vitamins and stuff going up to Canada. Yeah. But, you know, you got to recognize they're not all created the same. And so much of what we take is artificial. Your best sources is uh, at really from your foods and from herbs and, and things that are growing directly. Oh, you want to do everything you can to try to eat it in a normal, you know, your food is your medicine. You really want to revolve around that as much as possible. And, 
you know, if we do need extra supplements around here, I, I do my best to make everything, you know, because so I know exactly what's going in it. And there's other things, you know, I'm going to have ready, you know, things like turmeric, ginger, all of these things I'm going to start making and processing myself just because I'll know exactly what I put into that soil. You know, you can get things organic, but that doesn't always mean it's organic. So just uh, putting it in shakes whenever you can, if you can avoid that little capsule, I think that's a good idea. And if you can't try to make it your own, no one is perfect. I mean, I still have things that I need to take supplement wise that I, I need to buy, but I do my best to source everything and um, just bring in what I need when I need and, um, and go from there. A label like this is a label that you want to avoid at all costs. So, you know, it's been said that the first place to start if you want to clean up your diet is walk around the periphery of the store and don't go in the middle. Uh, because the middle aisles have stuff that is, again, it, well, you know, some of this you need to be a scientist probably or a nutritionist to understand. And the nutritionist just from the scientific end of it. Look at the ingredient list. And, you know, ensure again, we've talked about this a million times. People get cancer and, you know, cancer is rampant and it's rampant for numerous reasons. Uh, it, it's a symptom of, of a very, very sick system. What do they give? They, they say, make sure you take your insure. Uh, yeah, or something like it. Well, cancer feeds off sugar. And, you know, you have water and you have corn maltodextrin. So that's that's sugar, basically. And then you have sugar itself after that. And then you have all these dyes, which many of them have been tied to causing cancer, too. Why do you why do you care about what the color of it is? Oh, well, I got to make sure it has F, D and C blue number one. That's my favorite. Uh, yeah. And then I, in some of these labels, like uh, one of these was was showing had carrageenan and it had aspartame. I mean, all these things cause cancer and feed cancer. Yet the system will tell you, make sure you get your insure. Oh, I know. You know, it's funny. Mike brought up colors. That reminds me. When I was little, I could actually taste color. It was it was kind of strange. My senses were all kind of mixed around. But going back to this, um, yeah, look at the ingredients. And I find it so, so, so incredibly sad when people go in to uh, fight cancer in a in a mainstream kind of way they have right there on the shelf when you check in and check out they give you they give you you know you're insured they're like here take this and when you go in if you are tested for such things you know they do use uh, sugar to light up those cells so that they can see where they're at so if the sugar is lighting up the cells doesn't it just make a sense that if you're putting it into your body it's it's going to continue to feed them and everything is so right in front of us. I think it's oversimplification in a world that is very, very complicated in general. So when they tell you something like, if you want to shop better, go around the outer outer perimeter of the store, do not go in the middle. I think people take that as just way too simple. But, but it's the way to go. And it's a start. And, and really, probably the best thing is not to go to a store. Uh, in the first place, or if you're going to a store, it's a store where you know everything in it is is as organic as possible and as local as possible. You know, thankfully we do have one of those nearby too. That is, you know, when I go and look at what they have, I'm seeing all the local farms, and so that helps too. The other thing I've noticed too is items that used to be good, w where the ingredient was one ingredient, and now they're getting tricky with the labels. Um, they have more than one ingredient. And so, you know, it used to be no preservatives, right? And now I look and it says ingredients. Okay, uh, like give you a for instance, ingredients, shrimp. Okay, so you think there's just shrimp. But then you look down to another spot and it's got in there nitrates. And there, there wasn't nitrates there before. Now there's nitrates. Ooh, um, nitrates can definitely feed and, and cause cancer. So, you know, again, uh, like they were talking about vitamins feeding and, and everything with cancer. When you're talking about a lot of the studies that have showed red meat, well, it's because they're loaded with antibiotics. How many people take antibiotics too? They're loaded with steroids. 
how many people take steroids too. They're loaded with uh, all sorts of, of toxic stuff that, again, they put into the animal. You eat the animal, it's put into you. This is why it causes cancer. It, it, because, again, if you, if you are a meat eater and you eat meat from an animal that was running around happy and free and was given love and a good life, it, it's going to just be totally different experience than something that comes from a store. And they've gotten us to the point where things are almost so unrecognizable. Let's take just chicken, for example. If you get a chicken that has been raised out in, you know, out on the open plains and you get a chicken from the store, those two chickens are going to taste completely different. One maybe has a little bit of a gamey taste because it's actually exercising and using its muscles. And the other one, you know, it was probably fed most of its life, just not really able to stand up and its whole biology changed. Well, when you eat the chicken where they've changed their biology, the meat chickens, well, you're getting that too. You're getting everything that they've done to that chicken is going inside of your body and it's doing that to you too. And then the taste, oh my gosh, the taste is like night and day. So everything that was natural at some point, they've just kind of moved it, moved it, moved it. So it's, it's darn near unrecognizable. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So again, nitrates are used in, in bacon and in, uh, in many things, but I'm just bringing up, if you're getting bacon, that's not designated nitrate, nitrate free, it, it's, it's really heavily toxic to the system. Um, as well as just any of the meats out there. Um, and, and, you know, one of the other real popular brands, I forget what the name is now, but they have them in like all the big supermarkets. It'll say it's nitrate free, but then it's got carrageenan in it now. And here is again another PubMed uh, review of the harmful gastrointestinal effects of carrageenan in animal experiences can be carcinogenic. And they're pumping it in everything. In fact, I mean, if, if you're buying chicken uh, from any of the big places out there, any of the clubs and uh, Walmart or even the big, big stores, uh, look closely because it's in most of them. It's, it's been added to most of them. And then if you're drinking just Folgers or you're drinking whatever other brands are out there, I don't even know nowadays as far as coffee. Coffee is one of the most toxic substances out there, so only drink organic coffee. And again, uh, yeah, everything is way more expensive, but we just don't even think about it. We just buy less. It's just that simple. You know, you will buy organic, we'll buy as good as we can, uh, and we'll just eat a little bit less. Because again, how many people need to lose a few pounds anyway? When you look to the videos of people in the 30s, 40s, 50s, uh, it was hard to find people that were really obese. And, and yet now you can find obese people everywhere, as most people, I mean, probably half the population is literally uh, technically obese, and yet you're so freaking nutritionally deficient. That's the, the other side of it. It's not only that we're carrying too much adipose tissue, which again, where are toxins stored? They're stored in body fat. The more body fat we have, the more toxins we have just, you know, walking around with us every day. We really, really have to understand uh, how all this affects us and our mental clarity. Coffee, you know, you have that cup of coffee. Okay, I could think now. Yeah, but beware of, of things like DDT, mold. Uh, it's, it's, it's horrible what's in coffee. So again, you want only organic and and Cindy prefers to you know get grind it herself we have we have multiple grinders so we we have a redundancy in everything we have a juicer that we haven't even taken out of the box yet um, you know this is just setting ourselves up for the important things paper straws found to contain long-lasting potentially toxic chemicals you might not even and 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 you we don't I don't buy anything in in uh, plastic containers at all now. So when uh, I had to get olive oil, I'm making sure I'm getting organic and it's in a glass container. Even if it costs $4 more, $5 more, whatever, I'm not, I'm not going to buy it because literally we are on toxic overload. And if you just add more of those nasty estrogens, 
uh, then you're going to just, you know, sooner than later be facing uh, a healing crisis. And those glass jars, you know, eventually if you do get into making your own your own things, those glass jars that are tinted, those come in really, really handy if you're going to make your own concoctions. So hold on to those if you have the space. A lot of people are limited with space, but if you're in a place where you can just put them in a, a, a bin and set them aside, then I would hold on to them. And I'm going to hold on to you. <laughs> and we have how plants pass, pass down genetic memories. Wait a minute. Plants pass down genetic memories? Of course. We can tap into genetic memories. There's so much out there that is just not even thought of by the mass population and and not recognized but it's it's very very interesting uh i won't go into too much with this but when organisms pass their genes on to future generations they include more than the code spelled out in dna some also pass along chemical markers that instruct cells on how to use that code the passage of these markers to future generations is known as epigenetic inheritance it's particularly common in plants. So significant findings here may have implications for agriculture, food supply, and the environment. So the, these two uh, researchers have been doing research on pa how plants pass along the markers that keep transposons inactive. Transposons are also known as jumping genes. When switched on, they can move around, disrupt other genes. To silence them and protect the genome, cells add regulatory marks to specific DNA sites. That process is called methylation. And so it, it's fascinating to see everything that's just recently gone on in this world with certain cures to certain problems. If you know what, what rabbit hole we're going down here, um, I'll give you a jumble. Uh, a R N M, you know, see if you could put that all together. What what's being done is is truly changing an organism, and nature has its own ways to ensure um, a connection to the past and uh, an ability to utilize the best of the past and discard things as well as we move forward. Nothing stays the same. Nothing ever stays the same. Everything, when you get down to it, is energy. Energy, again, can't be created or destroyed, but it does change forms. And so what we have on this planet is a planet that the control system wants to keep that energy. And again, ultimately, the energy we're talking about is consciousness itself. It wants to keep the consciousness in the dark. And it wants to do everything it can to cloud the consciousness. And most people, again, we are in a zombie apocalypse. You know, and the zombies are very apparent. And we see them every day when we're out in society. And when you think about how histamines function in the body, and when we have a, a reaction of histamines to something that the body uh, doesn't uh, like or, or want to be around, uh, that histamine reaction can also cause a, a fogginess, a cloudiness. And you think about people automatically say, oh, my allergies are adding up or are getting really bad. I, I got to go take Benadryl or, or whatever it is that you're taking. All these things have other effects on us. And there's a there's there's this science out there that's not taught. And the science that's not taught understands other aspects of common med medications, common things that we take all the time, that they have other effects on us in other ways that the vast majority of the population will never even conceive of, think of, or, or realize. And, and even some that are medically trained might not ever get the connection, but they're there. And so a lot of times the true purpose for something is is not at all what it appears. And I know there's probably um, just a small percentage that's truly getting what I'm saying here. But again, it's all about keeping the consciousness of humanity opt not optimally functioning, functioning in a less than optimal way. When you fast, you can reset your entire immune system. And we've talked about this before. 
we see the spiritual traditions you have in the Bible again, you know, Yeshua going out in the desert 40 days and and fasting, you know, 40 is not necessary to change and reset your immune system. In fact, if you could even just do 16 hours, you can give yourself a boost. 24 hours, wonderful. 36, whatever it is. And we've covered that in other videos. And again, Dr. Mindy Pels is a much better expert than we are on this. So Dr. Mindy Pels, I would check her out, um, especially things with uh, when it comes to women in, in a menstrual cycle. It's so important. So we'll defer to her on all the fasting. Um, but we, we are proponents of this. And coincidentally, when I was 11, that's the first time I ever fasted. And that was the first time I ever read the Bible. And it probably was the inspiration from Yeshua, you know, and hey, he did it. I'm going to do it. And, you know, again, it does have its effects. One of the things that it does is is it, it can definitely clear out the system. Uh, all of a sudden, you know, your allergies will might disappear. It depends on the individual. It depends on how long and how clean your diet is. Again, if you are eating McDonald's all the time, you might be in absolute misery just doing 16 to 24 hours of fasting. Again, it, it all depends on, on how we've been treating our body. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You know, I mean, look at it as um, a bit of a house cleaning for the cells, you know, where the body is able to go through and get all the yucky stuff out of the cells and, and get rid of it out of the body. Uh, but you want to go slow, you know. Yes, please go check out Dr. Mindy Pell's She's very, very good, but just um, just a, a quick understanding, especially women going through their cycle. Well, women are kind of complicated creatures with hormones, and she can really help explain how you want to fast so that you can get the most benefit. Because if you do it and, and, and the wrong way, it can kind of upset the hormones, so you want to be careful with that. And also... If you're really uh, sugar sensitive, you want to start out slow. Start yourself off with six hours. Do do whatever, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. And don't go so far that you end up making yourself more sick because as the body unloads, you can get a backup of toxins and make yourself sick. So, you know, going from coming from someone who's just really anxious to get everything done right now, I have done that to myself, you know, dive in with both feet and wanting to heal myself and then, oh boy, make myself a little bit sicker. So you want to do baby steps. It's very, very effective, but go slow. Absolutely. So is your second chromosome evidence of intervention theory? And this has gotten buried recently. And, and when you look into Google searches and uh, using other, um, other ways, of, other browsers, it, it, these articles that were talking about this as a sign of intervention, somebody screwed with our second chromosome. Ah, who did that? Well, it goes along perfectly again with all those uh, old Sumerian stories, those creation myths. Yeah, yeah, well now all you have is tons of debunking and, you know, again, they, they don't want us understanding this. And so much of your DNA has been literally turned off. Uh, because again, humans, it is said that humans are like the gods in a golden age. Our understanding is, is much different. Our abilities are much different. And this is where we're heading. And this is, again, why they are trying to block out the sun, because it's the sun that's the major trigger for this. The sun is bringing light. Light is information. It's also uh, affecting our DNA. This is why they wanted you to lather sunscreens on. Yes. Oh, you better watch out. You know, you better put your sunscreen on. So many people say this as just so matter of fact when they don't realize that they're lathering on cancer-causing chemicals. And then they wonder, well, shoot, you know, I got the big C and uh, got to go have the dog zap it off. Well, you know, again, it really goes back to what you're putting on your skin, what you're putting in your mouth. And yeah, there, there has been tampering. And we've talked about that. Let's look at some of the medical practices that the system was doing just, just a little while ago. Medicinal leeches, bloodletting. It was an accepted pla pra pra practice. Did you know that they used mercury in hat making? Yes, and that whole Mad Hatter thing. Do you, do you remember the Mad Hatter? 
uh, maybe from comic books, etc. But no, it, it, there's a basis for this. Mercury nitrate was used in the felting process. Workers in the Danbury factories often suffer, suffered mercury poisoning, called Mad Hatters. Symptoms of the disease were called the Danbury Shakes. Chronic mercury exposure. They put mercury in tooth fillings. It, you know, going back to the 60s and 70s, they were putting mercury in tooth fillings. It was an accepted practice. Everybody said it was okay. All the official sources say it, was, it wasn't it was okay. It, you know, this is what the system does. They switch out one toxic practice for a new toxic practice. What are they doing to this guy? They're sick, sticking something up his nose. They're tapping a spike into his nose. Transorbital lobotomy. Wait a minute. Isn't that where they were doing the to check the... Yeah, because it's one of the closest entry points into the brain itself. Uh, people are hearing voices. Well, maybe they were actually gifted. Maybe they were actually what you would call psychic. Oh, we need to lobotomize this one. Yeah, we can't have anybody that can see through their lies. This is how the system works. You know, it, it might take a while for us to get hold of uh, the new reality. Just like this little guy is going to get used to his, his new vehicle because the body's just a vehicle. It's just a vehicle. He's like, ooh, this is, this is a cool thing. Look, I think I could grab things. I could scratch things with this. I could probably pick up food. Ow, that hurt. <laughs> He's such a little cutie. Learning and exploring and figuring out what things do and what they don't do and exploring the new world around him from a different perspective, from different skin through different eyes but still source energy nonetheless always 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 and animals they're so angelic our pets our pets are our angels they came down here to really really help us out and if you're someone and you're really having trouble and you're struggling you're you know say maybe it's depression maybe it's work overload Get your pet and love on them as much as possible because this truly does release those chemicals in the body that we need to heal. In that way, they are little angels and you send that innocent, sweet love back and forth between the two of you and that brings about so much healing. So animals are so impressive. They're so wonderful. Have you ever noticed, you know, your pup, if you leave the room for five minutes and you come back, they're just as happy as if you had left for five hours and came back. They're so happy to see you. And that's all those, those chemicals pumping through, making those hormones go and you're healing each other. So we have a lot to learn from our, our animal friends. Absolutely. So thank you guys again for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon. Patreon, there's unique videos that go up over there only. Much love. God bless and namaste. Namaste.